Why can't you get shit done at your restaurant? Hey, thank you so much for stopping by for this week's edition of Mike's Money Making Minutes. My name is Michael Tebow, recovering restaurant owner and caterer, turned author, speaker, coach, owner of DFY Marketing Systems, serving the restaurant industry since 2008, getting you more new customers and your existing customers to come back more often and spend more money with no work on your part. And thank you. I appreciate you stopping by this week and I hopefully can help you out. And what I mean by that is as business owners, as restaurant owners, don't you feel like sometimes you just can't get anything done? You can't get shit done and it pisses you off, right? I mean, let's face it. There, your your to-do list is full and you're just not scratching anything off. And you feel like you're running around with a chicken with your head cut off, right? You're dealing with vendor problems. You're dealing with Susie called off, so you got to find a replacement for her. You got to jump on the line because your line cook didn't show up because he's in jail. Um, the bartender, uh, you know, was passed out again. J- just a barrage of different things, right, that happen. And you can't spend the time that you need to working on your business instead of in your business. It isn't your fault. And let me tell you why. It's a mentality shift, right? And it's all because most of us started out working in the restaurant industry, right? I know I started out at 12 years old working for my dad. He was an executive chef for a Hilton Corporation washing dishes at one of the Hilton hotels in the kitchen, right? And I worked my way up and I bought my own restaurant when I was 18 years old, a pizzeria. But nobody gave that to me. I mean, I worked dishwashing. I was a line cook. I was a server, bartender, busboy. You know, I did all the jobs. And that's typically probably what you did too. You started working in the business. That's what you know. And you were trained that way. You know, very rarely do um, I run across restaurant owners that just kind of get a restaurant without ever working in the restaurant or working their way up. Most of us worked our way up through the industry. And when I bought my restaurant, my first uh, pizzeria, there was no instruction manual. Nobody gave me an instruction manual on how to run a restaurant, especially a pizzeria. I got a couple of great uh, li- lines of philosophy from the gentleman that I bought the restaurant, uh, the pizzeria from, that I still remember to this day. But that was it, right? So you kind of got to figure it out. And what you figure out is you got to do all this stuff in your restaurant to keep it running. And you never have the time to work on your business and on your marketing to grow your restaurant. You're working yourself to death, right? Six, seven days a week, 80 hours. Because you go, oh, I can't... It's, I can't train anybody. They're untrainable or they all suck. Or um, it's just quicker if I do it myself, right? It's a mentality shift because that you're going back to what you know and what you learned. Once you can break that with systems and leverage. And what I mean when I'm talking about leverage is leveraging yourself, leveraging your time, leveraging your business, right? That's the important thing because you'll never be able to achieve the success or get the things you want in life unless you're able to leverage yourself. And it is. It's a big mentality shift of working on your business and letting go. That's the hardest thing restaurant owners um, have to do is learn how to let go. What do I mean when I uh, say let go? I mean trust other people. Ask them to step up, but give them the training and the tools that's necessary to do the job. That's what systems are for, right? Because if they don't have that uh, training, they don't have those systems, they don't know what you want, they're not going to be able to perform to your expectations, and then things are going to go south. Um, But this is a little trick that you can do to get over that mentality shift for working in your restaurant and like you can't trust anybody you can't leverage yourself leverage your time there's you can't do everything let's face it right you're gonna die trying and i don't want that for you so this is what i want you to do for one week use one of these uh uh, old-fashioned legal pad right write down what you do every day for one week and then go back and look at it and go is this working on my business or in my business that's one column the next column is if it's working in your business Who can you assign this to and leverage your time to give yourself more time to work on your business? 
it works, okay? If you wanna do it, um, there's a lot of different softwares out there, project management, time management software that you can look into and you can do it for you know free trials. I like pen and paper because uh, I'm old school and it's easy for me and I can keep track of it. Um, so learn how to leverage your time and create that positive pressure, right? Which positive pressure helps you get things done. So if you have the time to plan, you actually create deadlines for yourself. Then hold yourself accountable or find somebody else that can hold you accountable that you respect. I do a lot of uh, mentoring groups, right? For restaurant owners and uh, auto repair and retail shop owners. And we call them accountability groups because we're holding the members and they hold each other accountable. So if it's a peer group, you know, if it's a business partner, whatever it is, hold each other accountable. That will create that peer pressure. And there's nothing like, um, I'm leaving to speak at a seminar next week and I got a bunch of stuff I gotta get done uh, because we're coming up right now on our busiest time of the year for our number one promotion, the DFY Red Envelope promotion. Um, so I have that positive pressure to you know get a lot of stuff done before I leave to speak at that seminar, um, which is great, but obviously I don't travel every week. So you need to have something that gives you that positive pressure, you know, a deadline, um, set goals for yourself, have someone else to hold you accountable. Speaking of that promotion, that's our number one promotion of the year, the red envelope promotion. You probably see, there's probably a picture and a, a link somewhere on this video uh, that just popped up. And that's another great example of leveraging your business because what you do is you pass out that red envelope wherever it is on the screen in the month of December when you're busy leveraging your busy time to pump up sales when you're not so busy in January, right? That's called leverage. Um, so there's different forms of leverage. You can leverage your time, leverage yourself, leverage your skills, leverage the skills of your staff and also leverage your business. And that's an awesome way. So if you're interested in that, you can go to dfyredenvelope.com, check that promotion out um, because we are taking orders uh, right now and the order uh, cutoff is coming up very quickly because there's a whole lot of production that needs to happen with that. But leverage your business. Think about it now, pump your sales up in January. So go to dfyredenvelope.com and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.